To write the balanced net ionic equation for calcium nitrate plus lithium sulfate, we first need to balance the molecular equation. And we can do that just by putting it two as our coefficient in front of the lithium nitrate. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. That'll look like this. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. So these two compounds are soluble. And sulfates in general are soluble. Lithium sulfate, that's soluble. It dissolves in water, splits apart into its ions. There are a few exceptions. One of the exceptions is calcium sulfate. This is a good one to remember. When these two substances react, this calcium sulfate, it'll be insoluble. It'll be a solid. and It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as our precipitate. If you look calcium sulfate up on a solubility table, it'll say slightly soluble. That means a little bit will dissolve. But for the purposes of net ionic equations, we consider this a solid as a precipitate. Next, we're going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that gives us the complete ionic equation. That'll look like this. So this is the balanced complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So on the top, we have the reactants down here, products. In the reactants, we have these two nitrate ions. We also have two nitrate ions in the products. Those are spectator ions. We're going to cross those out. Two lithium ions, again in the products. Spectator ions, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for CaNO3 2 plus Li2 SO4. Let's remove these spectator ions. And this is the balanced net ionic equation. Note that the atoms, they're the same on both sides. And then the charge, it's balanced as well. 2 plus, 2 minus, net charge of 0. Products, this is a neutral compound, net charge of 0. So charge is balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.